very happy to uh, welcome uh, the public of uh, ITU Telecom World in Busan for uh, visiting uh, the joint ITUR and ITUD pavilion. Uh, concerning the ITUR pavilion, I mean the part of this pavilion which relates to ITUR activities, um, this um, exhibition shows the role of the ITUR sector in uh, shaping the global ecosystem for radio communications, which includes mobile, broadband, satellites, uh, television broadcasting, and many other services which make our life easier and more pleasant, and um, more efficient as well. And the role of the radio sector of the ITU, the ITUR, is to develop international regulations and global standards uh, which enable uh, huge economies of scale and worldwide interoperability and roaming of equipment. So um, we are this year celebrating the 90th anniversary of the ITUR study groups uh, which started their work in 1927. Um, contributing by their studies uh, to enable new technologies as they were appearing in radio communications to be implemented in networks and equipment um, so that we have built over these 90 years uh, a globally harmonized ecosystem which is sustainable and I think the longevity of the system is also highlighting the sustainability of uh, what is produced by the ITUR process. So today we are working on 5G, we are working on many new technologies in satellites, in balloons, in drones, and the, if you visit this um, uh, joint pavilion of ITUR and ITUD, you will be able to see how in the last 90 years the ITU has been shaping the global ecosystem for radio communications. Yes, the uh, public at ITU Telecom World will also see on uh, this joint pavilion um, exhibition of uh, members of the ITUR and ITUD sector uh, to uh, present uh, their realizations, their achievements in, in past years as uh, members of uh, ITU.